Hello, this is Kevin Carpenter, Sarah Nikolai, Jaya Joseph, and George Goddard. Today we're talking about logical equivalence and specific laws within logical equivalence. The domination laws, P or true, if logically equivalent to true, P and false, if logically equivalent to false. The idempotent laws, P or P is logically equivalent to P. P and P is logically equivalent to P. Double negation law, the negation of the negation of P is logically equivalent to P. The commutative laws, P or Q is logically equivalent to Q or P. P and Q is logically equivalent to Q and P. The associative laws, P or Q and R is logically equivalent to P or Q or R. P and Q and R is logically equivalent to P and Q and R. The distributive laws, P or Q and R, is logically equivalent to P or Q and P or R. P and Q or R is logically equivalent to P and Q or P and R. De Morgan's laws. The negation of P and Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. The negation of P or Q is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. Absorption laws. P or P and Q is logically equivalent to P. P and P or Q is logically equivalent to P. Negation laws. P or not P is logically equivalent to true. P and not P is logically equivalent to false. Logical equivalences involving biconditional statements. P if and only if Q is equivalent to P then Q and Q then P. P if and only if Q is also equivalent to the negation of P if and only if the negation of Q. P if and only if Q is equivalent to P and Q or not P and Q. And P if and only if Q, the negation of that, is equivalent to P if and only if not Q. Listed here are a number of logical equivalencies involving conditional statements that you can look over. They're very useful when trying to solve a variety of problems. Example 1, which is example 7 from section 1.3 from our book, show that the negation of P and not P and Q is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. Using De Morgan's law, we can see that the negation of P or Q is equivalent to not P and not Q. We can further simplify the expression by using the same De Morgan's law on the left side of the equivalence. Again on the left, we can further simplify by observing that there is a double negation and simplifying the negation of not P to be equivalent to P.
on the right side, we are able to take the negation of P and P or the negation of Q and turn that into the negation of P and P or the negation of P and the negation of Q. Using the domination law, we can see that P and false is always equivalent to false. The identity law tells us that false or something always is equivalent to that something. In this case, the negation of P and the negation of Q. After a lot of work and a lot of logical equivalences, we were able to prove that the negation of P or the negation of P and Q is logically equivalent to the negation of P and the negation of Q. Example 2, which is example 8 from section 1.3 in our book, show that P and Q, then P or Q, is a tautology, which is a statement that it always is true. So our first step is showing that P and Q, then P or Q, is equivalent to the negation of P and Q, or P or Q. This is an equivalence that we know is true. With the Morgan's law, we know that the negation of a P and Q is equivalent to the negation of P or the negation of Q. We are able to use this to transform our statement into the negation of P or negation of Q or P or Q. Next, we are able to use the associative law and the commutative law, and the result is the negation of P or P or the negation of Q or Q. The negation law shows that the negation of P or P always evaluates to be true. It is equivalent to true. Thus, the negation of P or P or the negation of Q or Q is true or true. The domination law shows that P or true is equivalent to true. So we have true or true is equivalent to true. This goes to show that if the original expression evaluates to true or true using the negation law and the domination law, then P and Q, then P or Q is a tautology. It is always true. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching, and have fun using your logical equivalences. Good night.